What's up guys? Today I'm here to do a Big 3 discussion. So, I know you guys have seen plenty of these Big 3 discussions, but the Big 3 are the Big 3 for a reason, and I want to talk about how these series continue to be fresh and um, continue to keep going at these like ridiculous amount of chapters or ridiculous amount of episodes. Um, I know a lot of people complain about some of the chapters each week, which I understand there's a few things like with Kishimoto, um, he kind of like he'll like recap what happened in a few uh, chapters earlier, and that's kind of annoying. Like a, a character will explain something that we've already learned that is unnecessary to put in the chapter, which I honestly agree with people about that. We don't really need that recap. Um, it's all right to do it sometimes, but like lately he's been doing it a lot, which is kind of annoying. Um, people complain about. I guess, like, the last Naruto chapter was, like, fighting mainly. Uh, people with Bleach complain about the artwork and whatnot. With One Piece, uh, people are complaining about the... I'm not c completely caught up with uh, One Piece. I, I think I'm almost at the end of Fishman Island. I'm pretty much at the end of Fishman Island. But I plan to catch up in the near future, so... Uh, Maybe I'll do chapter reviews, I don't know yet. Um, if you guys want me to do chapter reviews, let me know. Uh, but uh, let me tell you why that tell you why we shouldn't be complaining about these series. Um, first off, uh, to have a series running this long is an accomplishment in itself. Th like manga is a niche market, especially like here in the states. Um, in Japan, it's hard to make it as make it. It's hard to make a series running that long without getting it canceled. Bleach has probably been close a few times. I know there he was Kubo was pushed to do this last arc, but the fact that he's got what 500 over 500 chapters now is amazing in itself. You guys can complain all you want about Bleach. The fact that he's done 500 chapters is amazing. Um, but the reason why these series are able to, to continue on as long as they run is because, well, for one, the beginning of the ser series, the, character, the main characters usually have a goal that is just way down the line. Like, you have tons of time before you get to that goal. Like Naruto wanting to be Hokage. When you first see Naruto, he's a little kid who is just this annoying little kid running around being a retard. No one would ever think that he was anywhere near being a freaking Hokage. Let alone a... He, he wasn't even near being Chunin. He, he wasn't near anything. He was just a stupid, retarded kid. And, um... To see where he's at now in the series is amazing. To see how much development he's got. It's been a long time, but the development has been amazing. I think Naruto's development is one of the best I've seen out of any character ever, to be honest. I'm, I'm being, being completely honest here. And uh, with Luffy wanting to be the Pirate King, the beginning of the series, he's strong, but we meet characters that are just way 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 stronger than Luffy like he's really strong at the beginning of the series but we see characters like Mihawk we see characters like Blackbeard, Whitebeard um, uh, the Admirals uh, just so many characters like some of the pirate warlords that are just way beyond what Luffy can do Luffy was strong in the beginning but it's nowhere near these characters, some of these characters, um, and hockey was way far away. We didn't even, I don't, we didn't learn about hockey for, it took a while to learn about hockey, but beginning of the series, uh, Luffy didn't even know about hockey, so now we have hockey, so we have, Luffy has come a long way. I know some people might say, like, Luffy was was closer than Naruto. He's definitely closer than Naruto, but he was still like really far. Away. He's still really far away from being Pirate King. Even now, and and where I'm at at the end of Fishman Island, he's 
nowhere near being Pirate King. Um, and uh, with Ichigo, I don't. There's not really a goal he has. Like he's just there to protect his friends and protect people. But I think it works. What Kubo does, um, you might say it's trolling. You might say it's not necessary with these kidnapping arcs and and all this other crazy stuff he does. But Bleach is still enjoyable. Like the thing about Bleach that that keeps people coming is just. I think it's the characters themselves, like some of the Soul Society characters, maybe not Ichigo, but like the Soul, like Kenpachi or Hitsugaya or Byakuya, Rinji, Rukia. There's just so many like unique characters, and we want to see their powers, we want to see their powers develop, we want to see them develop. Kubo doesn't always fulfill uh, what he's trying to do, but lately, if you haven't been reading Bleach, read Bleach. Catch up with Bleach. Bleach is so good right now, and I'm being completely honest right now, and I think most YouTubers agree with me. Not so much because of the story writing, I don't think, or the artwork has improved or anything, but mainly for the enjoyment factor, which I think is the biggest part of Bleach, the enjoyment factor. So, yeah, uh, so yeah, you need... My point is, you need a ridiculous amount of chapters, a ridiculous amount of episodes to keep these characters developing. And, um, especially with uh, Naruto and Luffy, because these characters have a long way to go. Um, Naruto, not so much now, it's coming to, an ear, coming to an end with Naruto, I think. Maybe a year and a half, two years with Naruto left. But, uh, but overall, like at the beginning of these series, we needed tons of time to uh, to develop these characters and develop all the other characters around them, and um, it's to me One Piece. Uh, just recently, I've been like looking a lot into One Piece more, like trying to like decipher some of the mysteries of One Piece, and it's just Oda is unbelievably talented. Like, you cannot deny the fact that Oda is a beast at writing manga. His story is just amazing. It's not, I don't think it's perfect, but I don't think anything is perfect in manga. He's per his story with One Piece is the closest thing to perfect that I've seen. I know a lot of people say Berserk or something, but I haven't read Berserk yet. I want to, but I haven't yet. But um, Oda's artwork, like, he put, he has to put so much time each week into these. And that's another thing. People need to respect these mangaka for what they do because they put a lot of time and effort into these stories, into these characters that we all enjoy. And a lot of people kind of just walk all over that. And they're like, I don't care, it sucks. Ah, la, 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 la. Stop it, guys. Stop it. Seriously. I mean, these mangaka work really hard. There might be a few crappy chapters, but overall, all of these series are really great. Bleach has had its up and downs, but overall, I've enjoyed Bleach a lot. So, that's that's my opinion on that. And uh, um, kind of back to where I, I stated earlier about the mysteries of One Piece. That kind of leads me into something else about the big three. The mysteries are, are another thing that keep people intrigued. And I think Oda, Oda is really good at this, at keeping a lot of the mysteries spread out throughout the series. Like, we barely know anything about... Like the Void Century, the Pongliffs, uh, uh, will Luffy become Pirate King? What, uh, who is the strongest uh, out of the the world? Uh, uh, which characters will we see next? Which worlds will we see next? It's like just the worlds he creates. It just makes you wonder what else is he gonna come come up with? Like it's unbelievable, and. Uh, What's what lies on the last island, Raftal? Uh, what is the meaning of D? I don't know if you've got any of these answers uh, recently in these last what thirty? What am I twenty thirty something chapters behind? Um, what is the all blue? Um, uh, just just all these mysteries, like and like I I have a feeling that a lot of this stuff is gonna come together like a lot of the stuff in one piece that we don't really know about is just going to come together like just the void century and the the pong glyphs and 
Raftal and Deep Meaning of D, like all blue. I think all that stuff will eventually, like, I'm not really good at coming up with theories like a lot, some other people, and coming up with like great ideas of what could happen. I'm not really good at that, but I just have a feeling that something is going to bring all this stuff, information that we gather throughout the series together. And once we get to Raftal, <laughs> something big is going to go down, like something crazy. Another thing, uh, the weapons, uh, what is it, Pluton, I can't even remember, Uranus and Poseidon, yeah, Poseidon, yeah, those three weapons, um, we already know what one is, gotta find out, I don't know if anybody else, is, if they've uh, revealed like some of the other weapons, but I don't know about that, um, just some great, 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 great mysteries in one piece, um, we, we have the ancient civilization, who are they, are they connected to the D, um, people with the meaning, uh, with D in their name, uh, just amazing stuff here in One Piece. And if you haven't checked out One Piece, which I'm sure most of you have, go read One Piece. If you don't like it at first, push through it, push through it, because the, the beginning might be cartoony, but once you get through to... I'd even say, um, I think it really starts getting good with uh, near the end of Sanji's arc and then into Arlong, which is amazing. And then like Alabasta's amazing, uh, stuff on the Grand Line's amazing. Um, Skypea is pretty good. It slows down a little bit with Skypea, but I still think it's really like great compared to a lot of other things. Skypea, it's great. Uh, Water 7 is genius uh, with all that stuff and impel down and uh, paramount war all that stuff into the fishman island kind of started off a little bit slow but it got a lot better especially when they like gave the backstory and all that that was really cool so yeah so uh, off topic there but uh, some mysteries continue with mysteries mysteries of Naruto of course which we should get these answers fairly soon maybe next chapter for some of these uh, definitely not this one but will Naruto become Hokage what will Naruto decide to become Hokage will he turn it down in the end because he doesn't think he's fit for it will he die will Naruto die in the end what will happen to Naruto will he become Hokage will he reach his goal will he want his goal by the end my theory is he might not actually, like he might not even want to become Hokage by the end because he's going to be like, well, if Hokage means sitting here doing nothing and ordering people around, then I don't want to be a part of this. I'll let somebody else do it. But you never know. I don't know. I just think Naruto is the type of person who would go out to save the village no matter what. Like he would go out to other countries just to save the village and like, he would just do his own thing. He just wouldn't be a fit Hokage. Maybe he'll grow more and he'll he'll see that uh, he needs to leave it into other people's hands more. And maybe we'll see that development more over the next uh, Naruto, I guess, year and a half, two years, whatever it is. Um, who is Toby? Who is Toby? I think most readers of Naruto just want to find out who freaking Toby is. Who is Toby? Is he Obito? Is he the Sage of Six Paths? Is he multiple people? Is he... I don't know. Who is Toby? Is he freaking Madara's brother who supposedly died? I don't know. We, there's so many theories out there. One guy was explaining that that uh, Toby could be a bunch of people who just switch his bodies, who somehow just kind of enters other people's body. He's Madara. That's why he knows about Madara's past. That's why he knows about... Uh, Obito's past. Uh, that's why I know so much about the Nine Tails and the uh, Sage's Six Paths. I don't know who's Toby. Maybe we'll find out in the next chapter. Uh, I doubt it, cause Kishimoto. That's what keeps people interested. That's what keeps these series fresh. Stuff like this. People just they gravitate towards these mysteries. They want to know who Toby is. They want to know if Naruto becomes Hokage. Um, but yeah. Let me guys know, who do you think Toby is? Um, hopefully, this next chapter just doesn't ruin this video. Well, I don't know, maybe I do want it to ruin the video. 
But uh, another thing, Sasuke's fate. What will happen to Sasuke? Will he be redeemed? Will he get his answers? Will he fight? Will he go against the village after he gets his answers from whoever Orochimaru is taking, to, uh, taking him to? Um, will he fight Naruto again? Um, hopefully he does, because a lot of people are looking forward to that. I think it would just be bad if he didn't fight Naruto. But um, with Sasuke, he'll probably get redeemed. He'll probably be allowed back in the village and blah, 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 blah. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe he does deserve re redemption. Maybe his actions are justified. I don't... Maybe Kishimoto will find a way to to make us see redemption with Sasuke. I don't know. But what will happen to Sasuke? Will he die? Will he get? Will he continue to attack the village? That's another thing. Keeps bringing us back to reading Naruto. Maybe some people <laughs> don't want to read it because they don't like Sasuke. But I don't know. It keeps me interested. I want to see what happens with Sasuke. I want to know um, if he'll get killed. If he will get redemption. I want to know. Um, with Bleach, some of the mysteries, like, uh, Kubo's style of, of mysteries, uh, it's more short term, I guess. Um, it's more stereotypical, um, kind of, I don't know. Kubo's mysteries aren't as engaging, but they still work. Um, usually his mysteries are short term, like, he'll leave, like, last chapter, stuff with Byakuya, I don't want to spoil anything, um, but Byakuya, all that stuff, uh, with Rukia, what really happened, we'll find out in the next chapter. He does a lot of short-term mysteries, which works for me as well. Um, another thing that keeps people coming is they want to see these Bankais. He freaking hides these Bankais. I want to see Udahada's Bankai. I want to see, like, Choriku. Kuriku's Bankai. I want to see freaking, I don't know. There's just so many freaking Bankais I want to see. Um, but he kind of keeps that hidden. I don't know if he does that because he doesn't can't come up with a design or if he wants to come up. I don't know what he's doing with that. But, um, I don't know. But, uh, that's another thing that keeps me coming. Um, also, like, in this arc, there's I heard something about Aizen coming back. How will Aizen come back? What Will Aizen be on the good side if he does come back? Will he turn? Will he still be against Soul Society? What will Aizen do if he does come back? I don't know. I just heard that as a rumor. I don't know if it's true. Uh, um, is Udahada who we think he is? Is he really a good guy? That's another thing that maybe some people have thought about. There's just a lot of good stuff in these series that keep people coming, and that's what I kind of wanted to talk about with this video. Just some of these mysteries, um, why these series can run, can go on so long, compared to like something that doesn't have goals, like, like the characters don't have goals like these that can be fulfilled in 26, 13, 26 episodes, 53 episodes, whatever. Um, just. I think a lot of people miss the fact that these three series are the big three for a reason. They really are, especially One Piece. I know there's not, I don't think there's really a big three in Japan. I think it's just something we created. But like, they only have, like One Piece is all for, for Japan. Everybody knows One Piece. One Piece is everywhere, I mean, for good reason. Like, One Piece, <laughs> thumbs up freaking One Piece. One Piece is amazing. Um, but, um, yeah, so, that's just, that's just something that I want to talk about. Maybe I'll do more of these, these discussion videos, let me know what you think on my, on these discussion videos, see if, I, tell me if I'm doing anything wrong, tell me if I'm doing anything right, uh, I don't know, they might suck, nobody might watch these, but, uh, yeah, so that is my little discussion on the big three and why they continue to be good and continue to be fresh for me and for many others out there. So to all those people who criticize the big three, I'm sorry, but it may not be your cup of tea, which is fine, but you don't have to criticize these series just because it's not your thing. Um, these series are really good. And I know there's flaws. There's flaws in every series, so that is 
my little discussion, I keep rambling on, I gotta stop. This is like 20 minutes long, freaking too long. I always talk too long, but thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. If you can, you continue to stay with me through this hiatus that I've been on. Like, I was sick for a while, and then I freaking got busy, and I freaking just got lazy, and I don't know. But I want to do more videos now, so thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Peace.